I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Welcome back for race number three, which will be run over the extended distance. It's over 1,900 meters at the early time of recording. The favorite, number seven, Majestic Warrior, is a generous five to two, I feel. Number 11, Johnny's Hope, is nine to two. And then we have number 12, Blazing Light, who is quoted at seven to one. Number one, the Bun, that could be a little bit of value at 10 to 1, trying the extra trip. That'll be a horse I will throw into my exactors and swingers. But Warren, for me, number seven, Majestic Warrior, you were touching on the Peter Musket and Tristan Godden combination. He's run to Big Slick, Swing Upon a Star, and Captain of the Green. I feel that form line's good enough. Those form lines are good enough. Third run after the rest, should love the extra trip. And if the blinkers have the desired effect, I thought Majestic Warriors more a 14 to 10 shot. Sheldon, we're not going to argue much, you and I, for this race. As we said, we, we, we're in their camp through the course of the day. And just, just go back to the Bund. I'm glad you touched on him because he certainly is a horse that's... You know, his last run, he was quite a, quite a way back and he, and he did come on uh, to finish seventh. Gate one, he's, he's going to have, uh, you know, a, a, it'd be easy for him from gate one over the 1900, which he tries for the first time. So you certainly have spotted a, a, a horse that could certainly get into the action. But going back to Majestic Warrior, who's definitely my first choice, yeah, lightly raced, going about it the right way. He's a master of my fate gelding uh, out of a stronghold mare. And yeah, big slick swing upon a star, that form lines are all there. Lots to like about him. Gate seven is a fair draw. I'm, I'm not concerned about the gate at all. So yeah, he is my first choice. I am expecting better from number 11, Johnny's Hope. He is drawn uh, fairly deep, but that last run, he did disappoint. And uh, he's definitely better than that. So seven by 11 for me, and then we'll respect your horse number one, the bun. But uh, I'm all in number seven, Majestic Warrior. I must just touch on number 11, Johnny's Hope. I know he was a short price favourite last time out, but when he went down to the start, I was in the commentary box and I said he was going down a little bit awkwardly. He didn't seem to be all that comfortable on the way down to the start. So I suggest watch him stretch down to the post and if he's moving well, then obviously you can factor him into the exactors and the likes. Yeah, Can Canford Cliffs Gelding is Johnny's Hope. And you know, it's, it's interesting to watch, you know, horses go down and we've all got different opinions and... I think sometimes we mustn't feel shy to, to, to express what we've seen in our, in our opinions because what you saw, fifth, seven lengths uh, off Paris Pike, clearly he was feeling a little something that day. And uh, I'm sure he'll be coming to the races uh, ready to make amends on that. So number 11, Johnny's Hope certainly got a chance. OK, but I think to wrap up the first leg of the pick six, uh, Majestic Warrior, it is a big field, big-ish field. Would you, I suppose, would you, in your one perm, would you bank a Majestic Warrior? One perm I'm going to bank him, the other perm I will include number one, the Bund. Okay, that's, uh, I think that's good, uh, good uh, advice. I'm going to also take that chance and bank him in the one perm because as we said at the top of the show, we're in the camp of musket and garden. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. <laughs>